Hey guys, Marcus here. Today we're talking about silverfish. Hey guys, thanks for coming back for another episode of Design IY. As you know, I've been doing this whole home renovation completely solo. I've shared with you a couple of the problems that I've had along the way, but none of the problems so far have measured up in comparison to the problem you're about to see, and that is an infestation of silverfish. So when I purchased this house, I had no idea what a silverfish was. I had never even seen one before. But after a roofing project that went sour and caused a lot of leaks, I ended up with an infestation. So after I started seeing these bugs, these insects, over and over in different places of the house, I decided to look them up and, ex and find out how to get rid of them. I wish I would have looked it up sooner. Let's go back in time to when I actually found out what these things were and first tried tackling this task. Hey YouTube, I was never intending to make a video on this, uh, but it seems appropriate as the it's kind of gotten a lot of an ordeal. Uh, more so than I thought it would. It almost was embarrassing at first, uh, but now it's not really embarrassing. It's more of a vendetta. Let me get this camera here. It's more of a vendetta that I have to settle. So, silverfish. Basically, I'll throw a picture of them so you know what they look like. There's two kinds. One of them is dark silver. The other one's really light silver, almost clear looking. But they don't get very long probably a three quarters of an inch or so seen close to an inch but those are the first few that I killed uh, long story short per the internet the best way to kill them is to remove their food source but oh by the way they can live up to three years without eating so um, the other bad thing is they could lay up to 20 eggs per day. 20 eggs per day. So they multiply rather fast. The eggs take 19 to 47 days to hatch. So you don't know that you have that bad of a problem until it's already that bad of a problem. In 19 days of laying 20 eggs every day, that's a freaking ton of eggs. That's a lot of silverfish. <laughs> uh, other things, they like a ton of humidity. Uh, we're talking 75 to 97 percent humidity. Uh, most of them. In one instance on the online, I read that the clear type uh, have been known to survive for a long period of time in all humidity ranges, lower than 50 percent even. So. Uh, that's the majority of mine that I have are that so that's unfortunate how to get rid of them I don't know that I'm the best one to talk about this yet since I don't know if I've gotten rid of them but I've been battling them for two weeks two weeks I've tried uh, bear home defense it says it kills all kinds all kinds of insects uh, including silverfish but I sprayed probably there was a group of like 30 of them um, all feeding on wallpaper paste, which is by by the way what I think that they were feeding on. That's why they're they're here in my house. <clears throat> and I just saturated them in that bear home defense. Sat there and watched them for over an hour. It looked like they were drinking it, <laughs> not dying, drinking it. So I proceeded to manually kill them all. Um, furthermore, uh, food. What do they eat? They eat starchy foods. So sugar and flour, um, if they're in your pantry, kitchen pantry, then that's probably the thing that they'll be eating. Uh, in my case, they're eating the craft side of my attic insulation because they eat paper, uh, which is also starchy. Anything like a carbohydrate, uh, in some cases they say even proteins uh, like meat, poultry, that sort of thing. Um, they will, or anything made of amino acids, I guess, um, they'll probably feed on, but if you go into the attic, I'll throw a picture up of it. Um, the craft insulation, the craft face part, uh, is all eaten. It's got these random holes in it. The wallpaper paste, 
that was in this room here. You can see there was a wallpaper border. I just tore it all out. Because for the past few days, the poison hasn't worked. I was going to use it like bait and uh, get them to die from the poison. But it appears, though, the wallpaper paste was only being eaten by the little babies. And they were itty, itty bitty. Uh, and all the adults were eating other things. Uh, maybe underneath my carpet. All those things are maybe the attic insulation. So if this doesn't work, uh, I did pick up another poison today. Diatomaceous earth uh, slash dust, so insect killing dust. Um, I heard from uh, a local uh, insect company that the only thing that can seem to really kill those things is insect dust. Um, so I spread that all over the trouble spots in the attic today. All over. Um, this is my fourth insecticide trying to kill these things, by the way. The rest of them were uh, liquid, except for one I did bug bombs, uh, just foggers basically, and uh, did them in the attic, in other rooms, in the trouble rooms, but that didn't seem to do a darn thing because I came in right after the foggers were done, and uh, they were there, crawling in those rooms. <laughs> so who knows, uh, let's try, the, try to get this dust. Uh, from what I can tell, the dust it dries them out, uh, makes them need water, and the dust does not work until uh, if it gets wet. So uh, if you have a moisture problem and you have silverfish, then key number one is get rid of your moisture problem, then try to get rid of your silverfish, otherwise you'll never succeed. Um, so the dust is going to, if you put the dust just where they're at and they crawl through it and they get all dehydrated, you are going to make your entire house seem like a very, very, very dry place. So you're imitating a desert-like scenario, for lack of a better explanation. And that will be, to them, determined as unsuitable for living. Uh, so then they'll leave, hopefully, and they won't come back. But of course, you have all those eggs over the next 45 days uh, that could be ten potentially hatching. So to get rid of the eggs, online recommends vacuuming all the crevices that you can all the crevices that you can get with the vacuum. Of course, with my house, plaster and lath. Um, if, we had, if you had drywall or plaster up over that, uh, that's a lot of cracks and crevices that you won't be able to get to with your vacuum. So uh, if you do have a plaster and lath home and there are a lot of cracks and crevices and that sort of thing for these guys to hide in, in your home, then um, I would say you're just gonna have to battle it out for the next couple months really really go to town on these guys uh, but this is uh, My first major battle that I really feel like I'm losing um, I've you know, I've had that feeling of failure so far with this whole home project but This one's different uh, you know, spiders, snakes, whatever. They might catch me off guard, but if I know that they're, they're there, I can basically let it crawl up my leg and I wouldn't care. But after reading about silverfish online, finding out what they are, knowing that I just figured, oh, it's, it's an attic bug, just let it go. And I probably could have prevented this whole thing. I get the chills, look at that. I get the chills just talking about it. Just talking about it. So every time I see one, I walk into a room and I just see a little speck on the wall. Instant chills. Have to run up there and check to see if it's a baby silverfish, but... Oh my gosh, here we go again. Stupid. I hate silverfish with a passion. Absolute passion. So if you do have silverfish, uh, you're going to end up doing something like this. This room was not supposed to be tore up like this. But that's all the MDF and all the wallpaper paste. And that is going out to the trash right now. Um, I guess I'll just start updating you guys on this from now on. Um, see how the silverfish situation is going because I'm supposed to be moving in in two weeks. Hopefully we won't have any silverfish when I move in with all that food. Okay guys, so it's like two years later now and two weeks was not it for me. I did have to battle it out over the course of the next couple of months, just like I had stated and diatomaceous earth was indeed the key to getting rid of these guys. So that's basically all you can do for the insecticides. If you see them, 
I found that the best and most surefire way to get rid of them um, instantly is to kill them manually, squash them. In my personal experience, what I've found is imitating the dry place keeps them from reproducing. So they're only going to reproduce if they have a moist place, so all that humidity, you have a water problem, and in the presence of food. My house at this point has been silverfish free for over a year. We're pushing two years here pretty close, so back in about December. Right now it's um, October 1st, so in December it'll be two years. Um, silverfish free, which is really exciting for me. So guys, really strange episode here. I know, thank you for watching and seeing all of my problems and issues that I had along the way, but also note that this created a need to remove or demo uh, the office before some of the other rooms that we had planned to do, so everything got chaotic at this point. So we'll be moving forward, finishing the bathroom, but also starting the office. And the office is super exciting. In fact, I'll give you a hint, it's the room I'm standing in right now. So, stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, drop me a like so I can keep producing this content for you and you can see this office be literally transformed. So thanks for watching guys, this is Marcus Design Way. I'm signing out, I'll see you guys.